Well, he missed last year's Super Rugby because he was away with the New Zealand Sevens team trying to win that Olympic gold, but this year he's back in the thick of it with the Chiefs. He really epitomises the Chiefs, and he joins me now on Gym Sport Go. It is Liam Messam. Liam, thanks so much for your time. As I say, you were away last year with the Sevens. When you look back on that now, mate, do you have any regrets about taking that year away from uh, away from Super Rugby? Um, no, I don't. That's, um, you know, I gave everything I had to... Uh, to fulfill a dream. Um, obviously, once the Olympic, uh, the Simmons were involved with the Olympics, there was an opportunity he sort of couldn't turn down, and I gave it a, a good crack. And um, I'm proud of how I went about it. Um, missed out at the end, but um, you can uh, keep my head held high. Yeah, absolutely. Just looking at that for last year, how much did you have to change in terms of your body shape and your fitness, and, and how then difficult has it been to get back to Super Rugby uh, shape? Yeah, I lost a few kgs. I think I got down to about 103 kgs playing sevens and obviously a lot more uh, running, especially with uh, Titch at the, at the helm. So I um, <laughs> yes. had to get my body back into, into running um, fitness. But it took a while. It took a lot of hard work to, to, uh, to get my body into the right shape to play sevens. But uh, to get back to 15s, it was easy. Just uh, put the feet up and uh, eat a bit more uh, a bit more food, which was good, and uh, get in the gym a bit, bit more. So, um, uh, so it's been good to, to get back into 15s and I already missed the, the physical side of, uh, of playing footy. You were ripping into the barbecues over summer, were you? Yeah, yep. That was like heaps of meat into me, and uh, he's putting on a bit more weight. I'm running around about 100, 109 at the moment, so uh, there's six kgs that I've put on, so uh, it's good weight. It's not, uh, it's not uh, holding me back. It's not around the puku. Oh, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's old age. <laughs> Tell me about it. Tell me about it. Hey, how does it feel to be back with the Chiefs? It's a team that you love dearly. So, how does it feel to be back with them? Yeah, it's been awesome. I uh, really enjoyed my time back here. Um, really refreshing. Um, obviously, I spent some time up in Japan, uh, which I enjoyed as well. But just to come back and, and to see the youth and the, the development that, that's been going on um, down here has just been been really refreshing. And um, the the talent that we have here um, has been awesome. And uh, it's just been good to, to get back in and get into the, the thick of things. You mentioned Japan. What's the situation with Japan? Are you going back there after Super Rugby? Yeah, I'm not sure what's happening at the moment. Um, I would like to. Um, I really enjoy that place. Uh, the lifestyle and the culture is, is awesome. And, and the rugby's getting there. Uh, it's a bit unfortunate that what's happening with the summers at the moment, but uh, it doesn't really um, show you how good rugby is up in Japan. Um, the level up there is, is getting better, so I really enjoy, enjoy it up there at the moment. But at the moment, uh, just Enjoy my, my footy back here with the, with the Chiefs. How many more years of Super Rugby do you reckon you've got in, in, in that body of yours? <laughs> oh, touch wood, I'm just trying to look for some wood. Here we go, touch wood. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not sure. At the moment, it's, uh, it's, it's going really well. Um, obviously, a bit sore after the Blues game. Uh, it takes me a couple more days uh, to bounce back. Uh, these young ones get straight back into, into, the, into the training in the gym. So... Uh, but um, I've always been strict on my diet and, and how I prepare myself with my body in the, in the gym and uh, recovery. So um, as long as I can look after the body and, and make sure I do the small things right, then uh, who knows, Brad Thorne played till he was, what, 40? Yeah. Uh, I've seen Tana after the game on, on uh, Friday night and he played till he's got 38, so still got a long way to go. How old are you now? Uh, 10, 33 in a couple of weeks, so oh. I'll just keep that uh, on, on, on the down way. You got another we've got, five. We've got eighteen. We got one of the boys turned nineteen like uh, two days ago, so that made me feel real old. <laughs> well, I remember talking to Tunner about that, and he said sometimes uh, uh, that he was talking to teammates who spoke almost a different language. They they listened to different <laughs> music. They had different interests. You, you, I know it keeps you young, but sometimes you must, mate. You must be scratching your head saying, "Son, what are you talking about?" Yeah, yeah. There's, there's a lot of that that goes on. Um, there's a, a few older boys at the back of the bus. Um, that I can talk to, especially with uh, Stephen Donald back here. So when the boys start talking about all this other gibberish stuff, I just sort of roll my eyes back and have a, have a good laugh about it. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I know it's a, another team, obviously, dear to your heart, the All Blacks. Do you think you... Do you I know you'd still harbour ambitions to play for the All Blacks. You, you must do. Oh, you know, so I'm here to, to compete. I've still yep. got that, that hunger and that drive to, to compete at the top level. Um, I'm not really stressed or worried about, you know, making that team... Um, that's one thing I've, I've picked up in Japan is that you can't really worry and, and stress about too much about life. It's just uh, if it will happen, it will happen. Um, I'll keep working my butt off here at the Chiefs to make sure I can perform my best for, for these boys. Um, and uh, selection-wise, those wise, that, that's out of my control. And if you can't control, you know, you're just uh, putting yourself in a bucket of stress. So 
I'm just here to enjoy my football and enjoy my time here and, and, and work hard for all the boys here. For sure, it seems to be working for you because uh, the Chiefs are in pretty good form at the moment. Yeah, we're not we're not too bad. We haven't sort of been at, at our best yet. We, we showed them patches against uh, the, the Highlanders and obviously a, a big chunk of that against the Blues. So we know coming into this week it's going to be another tough um, local derby against uh, the, the Canes who have been outstanding. Um, on the tech, so uh, we know they're, they're going to come up here uh, with, with their A game. Have you sent or received a cheeky text from any of those Hurricanes boys yet? Oh, not yet, but there's uh, we've got a fellow to see the man and, and the Hurricanes, uh, CJ, and I'm sure he'll be uh, chipping away pretty shortly as they get up here to Hamilton. <laughs> That's who I was thinking of. He is quite clearly the cheekiest man in rugby. I'm sure he will be sending you some sort of message about what he's going to do and or what the yeah. Hurricanes are going to do. He doesn't really get under my skin, but he gets under Michael Leach's skin quite easily, so I'm just looking forward to seeing that banter between those two, because in Japan, uh, CJ would always pay out Michael, and uh, Michael couldn't couldn't take it very much, so uh, hopefully uh, CJ's uh, started a bit already. Yeah, well, I guess you could say to him that uh, they've named the team, and he's not playing, so at least at your age, you're still playing. <laughs> yeah, oh, he's got a few more years on me, though. He's, uh, <laughs> he's a little bit older, he's got a bit more uh, um, grey hair in, in his head than, than what I have. It should be a cracking game, shouldn't it? Yeah, it should be. Um, like, the, like the last two games against the New Zealand sides, I was talking with Timmy, who's also been up in Japan, and just the, the intensity of uh, Super Rugby that we missed from Japan. Um, the first thing we both said to each other about how about the, the intensity, and we know that this week is just going to be another another step up, uh, defending champions, uh, the the form team of the of the competition so far, and we know that they're going to come up here and throw everything at it, and we're going to do the same uh out on our home pitches that we're going to go out there and throw everything yet as well so it should be a, a cracker of a game yeah it'll be an absolutely rip snorter of a game Liam thanks for so much for your time enjoying no uh, enjoying watching you playing again mate it's great to have the old fella Sorry. back out there for the Chiefs <laughs> thanks bro